So to do this 20,000 XP per minute glitch, what you want to do is load into creative. And then once you're in creative, you want to head on over to this rift and you want to type in this exact code. 9433-8318-0140 question mark v equals 32. And make sure you include the question mark v equals 32, otherwise this glitch might not work and you might not get any XP from it. So now you just want to click on accept and wait for the map to load up. So once the map is loaded up, you just want to enter into the map and it should be called 999 levels death run if you did this correctly. So once you've entered into the map, you just want to load in and wait for everything to load in. And then you just want to start up the game. So once you've started up the game, you just want to mark the ground in front of you, just like this, and then you can exit back to hub. So now you're back in the hub, you want to head on over to your own rift, and you want to create a new large grid island. And you can name this island whatever you want. So just go to create new, and then you want to create a large grid island, and then you can name this whatever you want, and then just click on confirm. So once it's loaded up, you want to enter into the grid island. So now you've loaded into your grid island, you want to head on over to this exact corner of the map on the left side, and it's going to be the one that's closest to this marker. So now what you want to do is head on into the devices area of your creative menu, and you want to just select on the player spawn pad. So once you've selected this spawn pad, you want to place it down in the center of one of these squares, and then once you've placed it in the center of one of these squares, you want to get out your pyramid and just place the pyramid around this spawn item. So once you've done this, you want to head on over to this exact corner of the map and you want to head back into your creative menu and you want to just select the consumables part of the creative menu. And then once you have selected the consumables, you want to scroll down and you want to find the rift fish and you want to get the max amount of this item, which is two. And then for the shadow flopper, you want to get the max amount of that as well. So that should be a stack of six. And if you get any extras, just throw them out. And then you want to scroll down a bit more and find the port of fortress. And you want to get two of these. And then finally, you want to go back up and get the presence, which should be a max amount of five. So once you've had all of these in your inventory and you have maximum of everything, head on over to the edge of the map. And now you want to drop everything off the edge of the map. So go into your play menu and then just drop all of these over the edge of the map, just like this. So now you just want to move your entire player's body until its head is slightly outside of the boundaries, but not completely. And then you want to click on start game from the menu. And then once the game has started, the exact second that starts, make sure you end the game. And then once you've ended the game, it should take you to this screen. And now what you want to do is just click on return to island. And then once you've done that, you should be able to fly outside of your island, just like this. And if it does not work correctly for you, just try again until it works. And then you just want to pick up all of your items, just like this, and you want to fly over to your marker. And a quick note, while you're doing this, make sure you are actually paying attention and not doing auto run because you could run into one of these islands and have to restart the entire process. So once you get over here to the marker, you want to fly a little bit up and you want to look inside of this dome where your marker is and you want to throw your rift fish right on top of the marker or as close as you can get to it. So the second that you throw your rift fish, it should mark itself in there and you should have your own marker of the rift fish. So now you want to fly on over to this exact structure right over here and it should become purple when you get close to it. So now you want to do is build this structure right over here. Just build a little platform for yourself to stand on before you go inside. And it should be elevated a little bit off the ground. So once you've built this platform, you want to drop all of your items over into the map. So make sure you drop all of the items before you yourself go inside of the map. And then you can just walk into the map. Make sure you dropped all of your items into there. Otherwise, you might lose them and have to restart. So once you're inside of the map, pick up all your items, and then what you want to do is you want to take the rift fish, and you want to eat the rift fish, and then you can fly straight. So you're going to want to approach this white dome over here, which is a huge structure, and then what you want to do is when you get over here, you want to drop all of your remaining items onto the floor. And once you've done this, you can now start the game after marking your items. So once you've started the game, it should spawn you very close to your rift fish. 
and you can just eat the rift fish and then once you've eaten the rift fish you can fly over to your marker or your marked item and then once you get over there you can just pick up your marked items once again so once you've picked up these items you want to walk straight into the white structure and then if you look above you you should see some designs on the roof and you want to get over to this square design right over here so now you just want to throw your port of fortress onto the ground and you'll see that you are stuck inside of this area so now you want to do is eat one of your shadow fishes and then what you want to do is phase out of the port of fortress and onto the roof of the port of fortress so now you should see four pillars around you and you want to locate the one that's covered up by the port of fortress so now just walk on over to that one and then once you get over to it you want to get out of your shadow form and you want to throw down another port of fortress right down there so if you did this correctly, you should be covered up again by another barrier. So just eat the shadow flopper and then face through the barrier. So now that you're on top of this, you want to locate this one pillar over here. And now you can exit out of your shadow form and now just throw down a present under you and then get back into your shadow flopper form and then phase above you and then keep on repeating this step until you get to two presents remaining so just do it again and then once you get inside of this box you'll see that you're not able to phase directly out of it so what you want to do is eat another shadow flopper and then test every single corner of this present and see which one will let you escape it so there will be one of the corners that will be right above the opening to the dome and once you locate that corner you'll start to get your xp so you can see that i located the exact corner of the present that let me phase out and now i can get my xp by constantly jumping and what this will do is it should keep on giving you almost 300 XP each time. And if you keep on doing this, you can get up to 20,000 XP every minute. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more XP glitch videos just like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.